Hey guys, Rusty, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Cool, hey? Hey guys, Rusty over here. Now, this is just going to be a quick update video, just me talking to you guys. Uh, this is gonna, I'm going to have some background footage for you guys to watch if you want something to watch, or you could just minimize the video and listen to it. So, as you can tell by the title of the video, my World of Warcraft account was hacked recently last Thursday. It was hacked, and, um, God, this has been a, what a friggin' experience this was. Even now, it's not still... It's really not still fully resolved. It's absolutely ridiculous. But it, let me tell you what happened. So, let's start off with uh, what happened. Thursday night, last Thursday night, helped the guild out with the raid. Need some fill in. So, I came in Mythic raided, got off fine. A few hours later, I start seeing, you know, your game session expired. That's weird. I didn't do that. And I went, you know, tried to log in. My password was changed. Now, this, I'm already getting suspicious. So, first things first, I go and change my password and about so i do that i log back in and then one minute later it happens again when i try and log back in i put in my email everything account doesn't exist anymore at that point i knew fuck fuck like like listen i understand this is just a video game but what have you been playing this game for i've been playing this since mob so what is that seven years now almost six seven years i've been playing this game and to see all that work and put in the game be compromised I was not, I was not happy. I was, I was shaking with it was honestly a little bit of anxiety. I was scared and I was fucking pissed. So of course I immediately put a ticket in and to make things worse, of course, and chances are this video is going to be demonetized anyways. By the way, if you didn't know on YouTube, if you even mentioned anything about the coronavirus, your video will get demonetized. So now that we got that out of the way, to make things worse, of course, the whole coronavirus pandemic is going on in the world right now and it blizzard all their work facilities including customer support I, i'm pretty sure like that's the austin building and all that stuff they're all working from home so of course tickets are going to take much much longer to be answered during this which i completely get guys that's fine i understand that that's not the response time i had a problem with. we'll get into the problems later so eventually i think it was a few hours later i actually had the tickets here yep it was uh the next day at around 2 p.m. Eastern Time, and finally get the uh, ticket back, saying, you know, you gotta provide your license with photo ID, fine, I do that. And at that point, here's my first problem. I put that in, you think, honestly, not even before then. Like, I started thinking about this now, just recording this video. I'm pretty sure Blizzard should have your account locked once they see someone with a different IP address logging onto your account. And chances are, guys, this hacker's, chances are, I mean, I don't know, he's probably not from the United States, let's be real. He, he, like once someone with a different IP address logs into your account, the account should be immediately locked, in my opinion. And happens, you should have to put a ticket in to get that back, because I'm pretty sure a lot of this and a lot of my gear and these all these character transfers and gear that was deleted and gold that was stolen off my account could have been solved if my account was just locked until I put a ticket in or until my ticket was answered. That is my first major problem with this. Now, that, again, the account wasn't locked, so as soon as I put photo ID in. You think if the account wasn't locked before then, that at that point, they would immediately lock my account. Still wasn't. I had my guildmates, I had my friends telling me that this motherfucking hacker was logging into every single one of my characters. Three of them, four, four of them were transferred off realm. Gold was stolen. Gear was being deleted. They had to kick them out of the guild for the safety of the guild bank. It was a whole freaking ordeal. I was freaking out the whole time. Why wasn't my account locked? <sighs> oh, Blizzard. Now, I do want to mention this right now. It is, um, I do blame myself about, uh, like, 60, mo mostly for getting hacked. It is completely my fault. I should not have, I should have had an authenticator on my account. I didn't have one. I take the full blame for that. Fine, my screw up. But you think at this point, I've been supporting this friggin' company for six, seven years. Blizzard would at least do a simple thing of locking my account. So anyways, I had to put in two tickets to get my account back. After the first one, basically the dude, the GM, sent me a message back saying, yeah, this account has been restored already. Which was odd to me because when I tried to log into my account, the email was back. Yes, the account was back, meaning the first email that I originally used, I was able to put the password into everything. But now there was an authenticator on my account, meaning the hacker, I don't know, I don't know what happened or how that happened, but essentially the email was put back to normal and the hacker put an authenticator on my account. I'm not sure how it happened, but that's what happened because I saw a guildmates telling me that my, I was apparently logging onto my account, the hacker was, deleting everything, logging onto all my characters, I assume deleting everything, stealing all my gold, and of course, transferring all my characters off realm, or at least four of them were transferred off realm. So I had to put in a second ticket just to get my account back. And of course, after the second ticket, I finally got my account back, and then I logged onto my account. Ugh. 
heartbreaking. It actually wasn't completely too bad. Um, of course, I had four characters transferred off from my druid, demon hunter, mage, and warrior. I think that's it. We're all transferred off realm. And yeah, that's it. And of course, all my gold on every single character was stolen. I had 2.2 million gold around there across all my characters. That was all gone. Um, on my demon hunter, my weapons were deleted and my trinkets were deleted. Uh, two of my very good corruption pieces, I had two rank two and three twisted appendages, a rank three twilight devastation deleted, and of course a bunch of gear that I used to swap out the corruption because otherwise I wouldn't be able to use it for, you know, swapping out corruption. So they were important pieces of gear, crafted legs, other pieces of lucky gear that I got with sockets and everything. Basically a lot of work was deleted. Luckily though, and this this is strange to me, only those pieces of gear, my weapons and trinkets were deleted. It's really strange to me that he didn't delete anything else. My Azurite was fine, bracers, boots, everything, all that crap was perfectly fine. It, it was weird to me. Anyways, so gear's gone, gold's gone, characters are transferred off realm. At this point, I didn't even log on to my classic character. I wasn't even thinking about that. We'll, we'll talk about that later. But um, I, I put a ticket in to get this, try and get this gear restored. And um, when the GM got back to me, he, he, he was, I think he did his best, the first GM that is, we'll talk about the incompetent ones later on, um, in my opinion. He, re he put my characters back to the correct realm, Emerald Dream, thank you. And this is the part that surprised me, he actually restored my gold. I didn't, honestly didn't think they were going to do that. What I thought they were going to do 100% was restore my gear. He didn't do that. He didn't say why. He didn't put a reasoning why. I had to put in another ticket. That's the only bad thing that GM did. I'm, I'm glad he transferred my characters back and gave me my gold back. It, it blew my mind though, or I was confused. Sorry, I was confused why he didn't restore my gear. So of course I put in another ticket talking about my retail gear. And while that ticket's in, or be sorry, before I put that ticket in, I forgot about my classic character. Oh, please, please tell me my gear is not deleted on my classic character. Every single piece of gear except for my skinning gloves, well, gloves with the skinning enchant, and I think boots or pants were deleted. Bunch of mats were gone, all my, my skinning knife was gone, my Nixia cloak was gone, and all again, all my raid gear from BWL, Molten Core. Basically, I had some really good gear, guys, in Classic. It was all deleted. So before I put this ticket in, I, I put the ticket in, I list, actually, I have it open up right here. Hold on. Hold on. Basically, I listed every single piece of gear that was stolen off my classic character or deleted off my classic character and also uh, my retail character, my demon hunter. Now, of course, I lost some deep gear on my jury, but I didn't care about that. The only two characters I cared about was my classic rogue and my retail demon hunter. Um, so yeah, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of gear that was deleted off my Demon Hunter. Again, really strong pieces of gear. There's uh, Rank 3 Twilight Devastation. I had Kirintor, Kirintor, Kirintor Cannonball Runner, which is an okay trink in my opinion. I had the Spyglass, Ash Rain's Razor Coral, the Rod Den weapon, the Bile Saints Crawl Touch with Rank 2 Twisted Appendages, and a Socket. Basically, all this strong gear and all my classic gear was deleted. So, of course, I put my ticket in to try and get all of this restored. And they said they wouldn't do it. I provided every single piece of gear as deleted. I even went further and went to Warcraft logs and provided three logs, three different logs, one classic, two retail, showing and proving that I had these items equipped and they would not restore it. So what I do, I put in another ticket. So I basically explained, basically that first, by the way, that second, or I think it was the first one that said, uh, yeah, we're not restoring your, um, your gear. It said, if you want to restore your gear, use our item restoration tool. By the way, if you don't know what the item restoration tool is, Blizzard has one that you can use. You could restore items once every 15 days. One item for every 15 days. For classic, that would have taken me months. I went to the I went to the restore site. I saw all the gear that was deleted off my classic character. Every single one, I could have restored it. It would have taken at least four months. At that point, maybe even five months. At that point, we're going to be in on garage. It would have been ridiculous. And the reason why they're not restoring it is because they said it's not in their logs. But if I go to the restore, there it is. Why isn't it in your logs if I'm looking at the Blizzard restore? I, I didn't really understand that. For my Demon Hunter, it was a different story. The way it works, if your character is transferred off realm, 
it doesn't show items deleted before the character transferred. So the items that were deleted off my Demon Hunter were deleted before the hacker or the GM restored it back to the proper server. So I couldn't see all those items in the item restore. So after looking at the restore logs, I went and put in two more tickets, uh, this time explaining or asking why can't you guys see it in your logs if I could clearly see, at least for my classic character, every single item that was deleted in the item restoration logs. And again, both times, provided, even though I provided Warcraft logs, photo ID, all that stuff, and pointed out the restoration logs, both times my request for an item restore for my classic and demon hunter, classic character and my demon hunter, were uh, denied and they said no. So what did I do? Of course, I put in another ticket. Uh, but at this point, guys, listen, this was my sixth ticket total. Remember, it took two just to get my account back. This is the fourth one just to get my items restored. At this point, I'm getting burnt out, and this is my last one no matter what. I just, I just did not want to friggin' deal with another ticket anymore. Because don't forget, whole coronavirus thing going on, it, it was like, it was almost 15 to 16 hours for, well, every time I put a ticket in. When normally, if it was not coronavirus, I used to get responses within an hour or two at the, at the latest. And again, I don't blame that. That's fine. I get the coronavirus, but at this point, like, like listen, guys, I'm not, I'm not unreasonable. I get response times take long. I want to make sure that's clear. But guys, at this point, I'm still just don't want to deal with it anymore. So this was going to be my last ticket. Luckily, I got a GM that was willing to help me out at least a little bit, and I'm very appreciative for this GM. Don't get me wrong. Um, he took a look at my classic character, and thankfully, this was probably the most important one for me, in my opinion, kind of. Um, he restored every, mostly every single piece of item, piece of item, every single item that was deleted besides a few reagents and mats that couldn't be restored, which is fine. But every single piece of raid gear and, you know, my Nixie cloak, my skinning knives, everything, all that. Thank God and thank that for that God for that GM that he, he restored that. I'm happy for that. I'm grateful for that. Also, he didn't restore my classical, but it was only like a hundred gold. I don't give a crap. I can make that in five seconds kidding but you know what i mean um so yeah my classic character was solved if my classic gear was not restored i was quitting classic simple as that i was not leveling up another character well i guess i don't have to level up character you know what i mean but i wasn't gearing up another character it took me months since classic came out to get all that gear i was not i was not dealing with that shit again i would absolutely quit in classic if it's not, that was not restored but my classic gear is restored so we're good there i'm still rating classic done uh retail character again I'm assuming due to the character transfer done by the hacker, uh, the items were not in their logs for my demon hunter. Even though I provided Warcraft logs, again, I, I guess they can't go off that because it's not their official logs. But, I mean, guys, it's Warcraft logs. I mean, just, I, there's visual proof that I, my characters were wearing this gear. But, whatever. He can't restore that. And again, guys, at this point, this is my sixth ticket. This was... Four days ago so what is that hold on hold on quick math quick math one two three that was monday that i put that ticket in today is friday i'm putting the video out kind of i think it is i might put it out tomorrow we'll see but i think it's friday that a friday or saturday you get the point anyways this i just didn't want to deal with it anymore i'll take a win where i could get it my demon hunter isn't completely under geared um at the very least blizzard responded instead of restoring my gear they sent me a item level 280 weapon a green which i just replaced today with a world quest weapon anyways i'm still doing decent damage with him it's just, at this point i can't be bothered to put in another ticket or do a live chat with another gm I'll take it right to get it. My class gear is restored. I just want to put this this whole thing behind me. I still have my guildmates, my my buddies Reese and Kenfet, my guildmates. They're still telling me I should do that live chat, put that gear in. Guys, listen, I, I just, I can't do it anymore. I can't, I can't deal with another GM. I'm happy with what I got. But um, yeah, that's my story. My account getting hacked. I do, you know, I have full control over my account. Again, I have changed my email to not even just my WoW account, my Xbox account. No, you can't play Halo, right? Uh, listen, listen. If I can't play Halo, I can't live. Uh, so yeah, I changed that. I changed my email passwords. I changed basically passwords to almost every single account I have. I put an authent authent can't speak. authenticator on my account. Basically, I secured the shit out of this account. I put two-step authentication on all my emails. I'm not getting hacked anymore. Screw that. This was a the, one of the worst experiences ever, especially for my WoW account, which again, I put six, seven years of work into to get hacked and almost lose that. Honestly, it was a little frightening. I don't know. It might seem a little ridiculous to you to get that over. It might seem like a bit of an overreaction. Maybe it is a little bit. But for me, I, I just don't even want to think where I, I lost. I lose all that work and all that time was wasted. 
So, what does this mean for the YouTube channel? Um, the reason why this is a little, I'm a little bit late on the next video, by the way, this is just an update. I do have another video coming out tomorrow talking about the legacy loot mode change the Legion. Thank God for that. Kind of. Um, but anyways, I had a few solo guides planned, like solo and King's Rush, which is possible. However, you need a very high item level and good gear. That gear is deleted, so I can't really do that anymore. Um, I have a few older bosses that are soloable with high DPS. Again, can't really do those anymore. So those videos are going to be delayed until I can replace uh, the gear that I want to or that yeah basically replace the gear that was deleted so that i want in order to make those videos for you guys but uh yeah that's pretty much it guys um what's the lesson to learn during this put an authenticator on your account it's a pain in the ass it really is but it's so worth it you don't want to get your account hacked because blizzard gms sometimes they're not that helpful Anyways, guys, that's it. That's basically, I just want to give you guys an update on why uh, a few of the videos are going to be delayed. Again, look, keep a lookout tomorrow for the Legacy Loot uh, video that I'll be coming out with. Basically, just me talking about the positives of it and why this wasn't sooner or why it didn't come out sooner. And, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. And thank you for subscribing and sticking around on my channel. And, of course, Halo 3 was the best Halo. Bye-bye, guys. Wow. That's staying in. Should I keep that in? I'm keeping that in. Anyways, guys, until next time, bye-bye.